What's up everybody, this is Dr. Nick with Leverage Media and today I wanna to talk about websites. So uh, the question is, do you own or do you rent your website? So I feel like uh, when I first started in practice, it was 06 and really like nobody had websites back then, at least in my area. And uh, 07, I think, was when I uh, first got a website. And at the time, uh, you know, the only real option was to, to use one of these companies that you paid a, a monthly fee to. And they had a, you know, kind of a template website and you use that and uh, you held on to it. And um, uh, not that you couldn't have built a website back then, but it was just a lot more expensive uh, than I think that it is now. Well, for whatever reason, that kind of got locked in place. You know, there are maybe like five big players in the chiropractic space. Most of those uh, also, uh, you know, have like a dental arm or, um, you know, other other types of um, audiology or different types of um, uh, uh, professions that they help. And it's all the same idea. It's, you know, local service based providers that you know, just don't have the time or the knowledge or the interest to uh, work on a site themselves. Well, uh, all of us have just kind of, I think, I, I, what I tend to see when I look at these strategies or when I do these strategy sessions with doctors is they either have one of the, I would say like the big five uh, companies that, that help chiropractors with their websites or they have a, um, uh, a site that they own. The problem is, is that those sites are terrible. So I feel like we're, uh, we, we kind of get caught into this false choice of either you have to run a website uh, or you own it and it's a terrible website, right? It's like one that they created or like some local uh, website person that they're in the chamber with, you know, threw something together and have no idea about how to build chiropractic websites or what's important, what's not. And uh, they end up with a, with a um, less than ideal site. So, uh, you know, lately I feel like there are becoming more options. You know, I, I've talked before that, that I'm a story brand certified guide and uh, we take people through the story brand process and we create custom websites uh, for them using that. And I can easily do uh, the same model that, that most chiropractic website companies do and, uh, you know, lock somebody into 200 bucks a month. Uh, 150, 400, you know, the prices are starting to just like creep and creep and creep and creep. And, um, you know, once you're locked into a website, especially something that you like put a lot of effort into and you, you really like make sure that it looks quite right. Is that it, the, it, uh, you, it's hard to get out of, right. It's, it's, it's almost impossible. Like it's hard for people to change websites, especially if something is, is working, uh, even if it's just working decently, you know, you don't want to rock the boat at all. And, um, and I, I, I feel like the option to rent a website, uh, because when I say rent a website, what I mean is like, you're paying a monthly fee. Uh, the, the website company owns the website. They own the design. You, you own whatever, uh, whatever you've put into it, whatever, whatever content you've created or direction, uh, that you've given them probably. Uh, but, the but the site itself, like if you stop paying them the $200, uh, next month, your site is gone. It's not like you can say, all right, well, I, I don't want to pay you the $200 anymore. And I'm going to take this site over here and I'm going to find somebody locally to, uh, manage it and get a hosting plan through GoDaddy. Like that's not the way it works. So it's really their site uh, and you get the opportunity to rent it on a month to month basis. Um, if they ever decided to 10 X your monthly fee, you know, you'd have a, you'd have a tough decision to make there. Not that they would probably do that, but you know, theoretically that, that could happen. And uh, they go out of business, you're out of website. So my theory is, is that, no, it's not my theory, but my thinking is, is that early on in, in practice, you know, I, I strongly recommend having a great professional website. And if money is tight and you know, a hundred, 150, 200 bucks a month, is going to get you like a really solid uh, presence. It's going to get you a solid, uh, you know, like when people go to your site, you won't be embarrassed by it. You know, I think that that's worth it, especially if you don't have like a big loan where, because like, even if you, even if you're new in practice, if you've got loan money, like one of the most important assets now 
or your online presence is your website. So uh, for those of you that are like starting practices, if you've got you know, a business loan, that's one of those things that you should be um, uh, line iteming in because uh, the, if you can own it from the get go, uh, you're gonna, and especially if it's built the right way and you know, it, it's functional and it ranks well and it converts people well, um, that that's a, that's a really solid asset that you've paid for one time and you're not gonna uh, be locked into forever more. Um, Cause that's the thing. It's like, if you keep your website for, say you just keep it for five years, uh, that's 60 months at, at 200 uh, bucks a month, which is probably about average. Uh, you're at, you're at uh, $12,000. I, I did a, I did a strategy session with somebody um, a couple months ago. that was paying $1,400 for a website that, uh, a month for a website that they didn't even own. And I mean, that's just crazy. Uh, but I mean, there were like, there was like SEO involved and, and Google AdWords, but like nothing that was worth $1,400 a month. So um, I think that the only people that, that I would recommend, um, you know, renting a website and doing it more on like a short term basis is somebody who's just starting out, somebody who doesn't have a lot of money coming in, uh, collections are low, they're trying to grow the practice. And it's easier to have a, a low monthly um uh, uh, payment than it is to, you know, shell out, you know, a few thousand dollars. People like once, once you've, I, I don't know, maybe cracked like twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 a month in collections, my recommendation would be to find somebody that uh, you think is going to do a good job that can build a site that is, um, that's going to rank well, it's going to convert people that's in your voice, uh, looks modern, looks clean. And make sure that you uh, you own that because again, it's 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 like uh, you know owning the the building that you're you're practicing in. I think that uh, you know in most situations, like owning the building, if if the if the monthly payment is is pretty similar, that owning the building is uh, more advantageous than than uh, than renting. And it's the same way with your website. I think of the website as is kind of like the online office to where it's that first impression. Um, it's, it's something that, that you should put your effort into. You should, you should not, because I, I think what happens sometimes is when the, when you get the, the website in a box is you tend to just take it out of the box and then it never changes. And, uh, even if it works well, you know, it's not in your voice. It's, it's not custom to you. It doesn't really give them a sense of what you do for this or how you do this service or how are you helping, you know, pregnant women or whatever the, uh, whatever it is that is on your site, most of these pages for these website to box companies, um, they're all the same, you know, like I look at a lot of these, uh, these pages that are, are very, 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 very similar across uh, the board. A lot of these, uh, companies have, uh, multiple clients in the same area competing with one another, which is, uh, which to me is, is kind of insane. But, um, uh, so once you get to, I, I, you know, I'll be conservative. And I say, if it, once you get to $30,000 in, uh, payroll that, that or not payroll in, in collections that you should own your website, you should, uh, put the effort in, you should make the investment and, and you should take care of that. And, you know, with a WordPress site, you can you can hire anybody locally to help you. You know, make edits or manage it. It's it's a pretty easy system to use. I'm sure you could do, watch a YouTube video or two and see how to like. You know, we got a new front desk person and we need to add their picture and their bio in there. It's or I need to add this. We you know got this new decompression table. I want to add a a page about that. You know, it's not super hard, but you could also you know find somebody locally, find somebody on Fiverr. Uh, that can do some of that um, easy, like one-time work. Um, but the more that the more that you can start to create something that um, that's really strong, that you're not renting, uh, I think in in the long run you're going to be happy. Especially when you get, you know, we talked about five years, you get to ten years. Now you pay twenty four thousand dollars if you're doing uh, two hundred bucks a month for that website. So. Uh, you got to think about that long term. I'm terrible at that. My my uh, girlfriend is much better at that. Like whenever I tell her, you know, uh, don't worry about it. It's just you know ninety nine dollars a month. She thinks of it as twelve hundred dollars a year. I think of it as ninety nine dollars a month. Uh, so I have a whole lot more uh, monthly payments than she does. So uh, think about what you want. Uh, 
if you're if you're in a position that that you can uh, you can afford it, I'd strongly recommend working with somebody that you know. Story brand websites, I think, are the best websites uh, in terms of uh, conversion and 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 showing up. So uh, I, I recommend those. But if you don't use Story Brand, just you know, start to work on a site that uh, that really represents your brand that you can be proud of and that you own. All right. Well, we'll see you on the next one, and hope you have a good day.